Hey guys, we are being asked to plug in points to this equation. Okay, find three points and then graph it. Okay, so unless your teacher specifies, you can pick literally any number you want to plug in for X. Okay, now the thing is we want to be nice to ourselves. We don't want to plug in like 10,407 because I don't want to do that math. Okay, so we usually pick numbers that are easy for us. So a lot of times we pick negative one, zero, and you probably guessed it, one. Now you don't have to plug in these numbers, but it's just easier for us, okay? We're trying to be nice to ourselves. So we wanna know what Y is when X is negative one, okay? So we're gonna plug in X, sorry, negative one for X here and see what we get for y, okay? So y equals negative five times x. When these are written right next to each other, they're being multiplied. So when I plug in a number, we usually like to write it with parentheses. So I'm gonna do negative five times negative one plus one, okay? So negative five times negative one, a negative times a negative gives me a positive plus one. So I get y equals five plus one is six. Okay. So when x is negative one, y is six. Okay. And I could write this as an ordered pair if I wanted to. Negative one, six. Okay. There is one point. Okay. Now let me tell you what's coming up in your future. In your future, you'll be able to look at this and graph it without plugging points in. Okay. You'll look at the y-intercept and the slope. We're not there yet, so this is helpful, but just know that's in your future, okay? Exciting, right? <laughs> okay, all right, let's plug in zero. This is usually the easiest one because we do y equals negative five times x, which we are plugging in zero plus one. All right, anything times zero is zero, right? So I'm left with just zero plus one, which is just one, right? So when x is zero, y is one. Okay. Last one. What is y when x is one? So we're going to do y equals negative five times x, which we're plugging in one. See why we picked these numbers? <laughs> Plus one. Okay. So we get y equals negative five times one is just negative five. Plus one. All right, negative five plus one, that's like, I owe you $5. And I'm like, I don't have it all, but I can give you a dollar. So you're like, you still owe me $4, right? So negative four, okay? So when X is one, Y is a negative four, okay? Just like the other one, I could write this as an ordered pair, if that is helpful. And then we are going to graph this, okay? So we have three points. We always start at zero, zero, okay? Ne and X is left and right, Y is up and down, right? So X is negative one, so I'm gonna go to negative one. And then Y is six, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, right there, and put a point, okay? Zero, one, so when it's zero, that means I'm not going left and right at all, so I just stay there. Y is one, so I go up one. You will come to know that as your y-intercept, okay? Also, my last one, we start at zero, zero. X is one, so I go over one to the right. Y is negative four, so I'm gonna go down four. One, two, three, four. And look at that. Now I can connect my points, okay? This is just a straight edge that I'm using, okay? And we just found three points, right? But there are literally infinite answers, right? Because I could plug in any number for X and get away. So that's why we do the arrows because it could keep going both ways. Okay. All right. Hopefully that made sense. I'll link some other videos if you need them. Thanks. Bye.